two, one. That's one small step for man. Well, that was a scene earlier in Houston where footage of astronaut Neil Armstrong was played to a live audience. Rosalind Jordan has more from the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. That's one small step for man. Fifty years later to the second, Americans relived the moment Neil Armstrong walked on the moon for the first time. And as half a century ago, a divided nation is searching for unity. With uh, digital computers, with the state of technology that we have now, it's really about thinking about how are we going to put that together and really for what purpose. It needs to have a singular purpose that has funding uh, behind it and that has a consistent push that allows you to then move enough forward to be able to actually get to that goal. At Cape Canaveral, the vice president, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong's son at his side declared a new dawn in human exploration. America will lead in space once again. And this nation will once again astonish the world with the heights we reach and the wonders we achieve. Also on Saturday, three astronauts escaped Earth's gravity to join the International Space Station. A Russian, an American, and an Italian, now in the elite club of some 570 humans who have orbited the Earth. In the face of this unity, the U.S. is declaring it will be every bit as ambitious and dominant in space as 50 years ago. The legendary Apollo flight director Gene Krantz says, now as ever, failure is not an option. We go. It's now just a matter of making good on that promise. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.